Audubon Nature Institute Aquarium of the Americas here in New Orleans. We'll give you a little quick tour of it today. We'll show as much as we can. It's a very, very crowded day. Uh, while New Orleans schools are in session, several other states are having spring break. We're actually back here by the restaurant, but if you have anxiety or anything like that, this is a quiet area. So you come back here and there's, you know, it's a little quieter back here. But we hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great day. Bye. So you walk in the aquarium, you have the gift shop to the right. Look up. And feed the stingrays. 1130, 230, and 4. So if you go left into the aquarium, you can go left and go through there where the crowd is, or go right and there's no crowd. They both exit in the same area. straight and end up in the rainforest. He's just like, I'm chilling down here. That's a big old catfish. There's some frogs in here. There's one and two. treehouse you can climb which we are not going to do today. You're in it right here. And it goes all the way over. So we get out a little behind the scenes look at their filtration system just for the penguins. Penguins in here. So if you can guess, we do have some penguins in here that are a little bit too similar to each other. And with that species survival program, they kind of have a guideline list of genes and traits and characteristics that they They're want to pass penguins. along for that population to help make it more different. If it doesn't hatch by about day 40 or 42, they actually know something's wrong with the egg and it won't hatch at all. So they'll either put that egg away or just completely move along from it. It doesn't affect them at all, so we did actually crack on Elmer's egg. But it was still a healthy chicken there. They didn't want to risk any further damage to that egg at all. So they actually pulled her egg out of the enclosure area and they hatched her behind her as well. But they did hatch Elmer behind the scenes. And you can kind of guess from her name, there's a little bit of a hint in her name as to how she got her name and how she actually survived. There's something that we've all used when we were in school, definitely. Or if you are still into arts and act with the other penguins that are in there because they are a colonial species. So it's easier to kind of just keep them together so no one penguin is just getting thrown into the group without any socialization before. Now, I did mention Ernie a second ago, just want to finish with him real quick. His story is playing on the TV right to my left up here as well, if you want to follow along. But Ernie's very special. Ernie actually just turned 37 on New Year's Day. So he's actually the second or third oldest living African Blackfoot penguin in the world today. So he's very special. We clearly don't want him to play favorites at all or anything here, but he's been with us for a very long time. And he's been through a lot here. And just like with any of us with aging, there is some we're gonna go see the sea otters. This great white shark was made with things you found in the ocean. 
Where's the trash can, guys? Let's see. Bunch of soles of shoe, rubber boots. We got some walls up, which are they doing some construction in here? I'm not sure what they're doing. Very busy day here. Pregnant seahorses.
new shark grenade touch pool coming soon. Here, the line to cut the stingrays is going all the way out there. There's now no one in the line. Definitely recommend feeding this thing away, very fun. Here, Mimi, you feed one. Here we go. <laughs> Do you feel it suck? American alligator because we haven't seen enough alligators this trip. Shark. Oh, look at that big old shark. Oh, I think that's a great, is that a great white? Yeah. yeah. No, it's not a great white. What is that? They don't keep great whites. That's a, that's a nurse shark in it of it. Oh, that's right. Now, this is a deep sea diving suit. This is an example of an artificial reef underneath a oil platform in the ocean. They attract fish. So they do have benefits to them. There's a sandbar shark. Sam. Look at the turtle, Sam. It's up there. At the very top. <laughs> Jellyfish. That is so pretty.
more junk sea art. Or sea junk art. I don't know what you'd call it. Sure, sure. He's like, hello. Don't forget me. That face. So for anyone that's at the Aquarium of the Americas, which is actually right behind us, river walks behind us as well. They have a little splash pad right here you can play at if you want. Bring kids on a nice, hot, humid day in New Orleans. It's free to do. And actually, I was wrong. That is the ferry terminal behind us. It takes you across the river to Algiers Point in that area. Now we're going to go see a movie on the hurricane. Otter pelts, or fur, yeah, I guess. Yeah, river otter, sea otter. River otter and sea otter. See my wife wants to feel that. Well, that was our tour of the Aquarium of the Americas. We apologize, it's really windy outside. And helicopter. Anyways, <laughs> that was our tour of the Audubon Nature Institute Aquarium of the Americas. Uh, we've both been in it a few times before. Uh, always a good place to go visit. Definitely recommend seeing the movies. My favorite animal is the sea otters. What's yours, Steph? Otter. Otter. We both like otters. So, 